Hi, what's up fellows and welcome to this session that I'm going to show you how I printed my first uh, 3D model and it's based on this um, old mini that I built in the last model kit that I share with you and I'm going to use this Elego print so yeah come with me and let me show you what is this project about Well, as you can see here in the box, this model kit comes with two kind, two different models and includes parts for this Mayfair 1.3A, that is this beauty here, and also include parts for this 25th anniversary. Let me open to show you that parts that were not used. As you can see, I have here the 25th anniversary decals and all these parts for the wheels, chromed parts. This is a panel in the interior of the car. As you can see here in the manual, we have the model. I choose this one, the Mayfair 1.3i. And then you have this other model. Where what I'm going to do here to use that parts is print and remodel all the body, the interior, the chassis, and then print. So let's go to the computer. Well, first of all, what I did here, it's uh, scanning the, the page uh, that I show you the one that have the two models uh, this is the blueprint that I'm going to use uh, as a reference to remodel and what I'm using this remodel word and not modeling because as you as some of you can remember I I modeled this mini Morris Cooper it's uh, one of my let's see most uh, hard work uh, projects that I did because it's plenty of details as you can see it's not just the body it's also the interior of the car is the bottom full of details here if i open you can see the entire engine and yeah but for this model i'm not going to be in this level of detail probably in the future I do this because it's hard work to do. I mean, for this model, I'm going just to use the body of the car and the interior. I know that these settings here are not exactly the same that in the other model, but will work. And I mean, I will focus more in the body and yeah one point that i'm going to share with you because this is a, a nice reference because it's quite similar the car but there are some modifications that should be done to for both first because of the model and second because of the um, the, the 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 file to be printed and I'm, t I'm saying this because, for example, if I separate two parts to explain, for example, this one and this one. Yeah, let me focus here. Yeah. As you can see, these two parts are slightly different because are different parts of the model. Yeah. But this one, it's solid thing, closed, double shaded with double faces sorry and this one nope as you can see here it's black and then here is gray that means that this figure is one one-sided it's not closet and should be closet like this one for example if i use as an explanation also this tire 
as you can see it's totally closed but if I get all these faces here and I delete yep this stops to be closed and now it's open it so this open these open objects are not ready to be printed and should be took one by one and remodel it that that that's why I use this word and um, for that this reference as I said it would be uh, good because I, I'm going to put in the in the software in the 3d software I use in Maya and um, to modify and get this similar uh, model as it looks like here in the in the blueprint so I'm not going to show you how I remodel all this because it would be a bit boring for you also if you are interested in how I model at this entire mini motor scooper you can go to the video that is linked here and see how I I model this all beauty and for now let's see the other file the one that it's ready to be printed I have here this one this is the 25th anniversary and you will notice some differences between this Maurice and the one I'm going to show you now yeah okay let's see what we have here now it's just the body as you can see here the body is it's well first of all it's it's high resolution with many 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 phases polygons and vertices and but it is ready there's no open nothing open here it's ready to be printed and I divided this print in three in, th in three let's see waves first it's or second or whatever first it's the wool wheels is this one here that you can see here the detail I put the, the logo and the ex exactly the same that the other model that is built it uh, also I did this this uh, wheel this wheel this tire print here uh, also I use as a reference the, the tire of the model that I already built it and um, this is one print another print would be the seats all these parts as I said before are ready to be printed are not open parts it's all ready to be printed then we have here the body and the chassis I use the one I had in the in the mini Morris just correcting as I said uh, open things uh, simplifying here the motor okay it's you can see something it's interesting and next step would be put these parts separately the chassis the body the seats and the four wheels in, the, in this case the this tire uh, in the sheet box so let's go and do a quick review well here in c2 box this is the program the software that is used to to put that files in in situation for for the illegal 3d printer i i put here the the body as you can see for my printer that is the illegal mars pro 2 it gets all the surface it's a huge the huge um, part 
or the US part that I can print in my printer, but it fits for this 124 scale. So, yep, if not, I, 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 I manage somehow to, to cut into parts and then stick or find a way. Once I put the model here and I can just move if I want to more in the center or wherever, rotate to put probably the parts that I want to have more detailed up, like let's say this front part and this side part that it's just the side that I normally get the, the photo. So I want these two parts to have this more, let's say this more perfect finish because the rest of the parts that are in the bottom, this will be supports here that are just uh, holding these parts. And for these supports, I, I can do it manually, but I, I prefer to put um, automatic supports in all the model. As you can see here, it gets automatically all these supports. This process should be done with all models. Once you have the supports to review it, just you need to slice here. Uh, this warning is that you have parts that are out of the base of the model, but for this demo for you, I, I won't fix in this, just, just to show you how it slices. And after having these files for the parts I mentioned to be printed, it's time to go to the Eligo the resin printer and one by one printing all these parts and yeah so yeah as a final check here i'm going to show you how it slices the model this is the way it's going to print starting from the bottom it's going to add layer by layer and it's going to give us this model. So let's go to the printer. The result, as you can see, it's a bit disappointing. I mean, I printed in this position to have a smooth surface, but the only smooth surface is here in the, in the front. But if you analyze the roof, here there are many imperfections that, that probably of the printing should be polished, but the car at least it's one piece there is no problems printing but many imperfections as you can see here there are many lines that also should be should should be polished and all the lines should should be accented with a knife or or a, a grabber 
line accent and now the idea is to remove all these supers that that hold the, the piece let's go for it for the chassis um, as you can see here the tube is not completed well uh, probably I need to replace with something I, I, I'm not going to print again and as I did with the body now it's time to remove all supports yeah now I see there is here an imperfection there are the tails that were here in the in the interior the breakers and all details here are not but when well, it's the first time probably next one will be better i will focus in in that kind of issues so but um, of the rest um, very happy as you can see here the engine looks quite fine and also all the system all the suspension it's looking quite quite good as well as in the rear uh, bracket systems and all the suspension and all the chassis was printed as I expected so I'm really happy with this well after printing several hours I have here the parts that uh, that are needed to to build the new model uh, for sure it's not perfect it's the first time I print this but I think I learned so much doing it okay here the body I I printed two times because as you can see I miss some details here in the in the front side and also I tried to have better definition of the of the of the body but um, of the definition uh, well I for example the rear view mirror here it's uh, printed in one piece but yeah I have these two options if one goes bad I have the other one but the idea is to build this one and as you can see here in the light there are some thing that should be done in a polish work but far enough I mean as you can see also here in the back side I missed in the first in the first uh, print the the rear lights and regarding the tires as you can see there there is not bad you can see here the logo the Michelin logo also the tire print it's pretty well I I'm quite happy with these ones and for the seatings not bad I mean it will work it's not perfect as you can see here in the in the back but well it can be polished and and uh, will work fine and regarding the interior it's bit of a mess here as you can see we had here a problem with the with the 3d printer but i spent like six hours printing this and also the material but here despite this stick that was a correction because was broken this part the rest as you can see is not bad and I think that will fit everything well with the the parts that were not used as these ones I have this let's see I have one here I have 
this one that fits well with this one so yeah um probably parts should be polished somehow to get that fit better but more or less let's see this one in the front that goes not bad and yeah now it's time to assemble as it was uh, a new model kit probably less parts because as you can see here the interior it's attached to the body so I'm going to paint directly here it's fitting properly in, in here works fine and um, yeah let's build this new model kit and let's see how is the final result